Following the success of the Frostgrave fantasy game set in the frozen city of Felstead, we head to much warmer climes for the next offering from Osprey Games. Frostgrave Ghost Archipelago is a new, standalone game set within the same world but with a different focus. Players create a heritor to lead a crew into the southern oceans to visit the tropical realm of lost isles known as the Ghost Archipelago. The rules begin by providing some guidance regarding what you need to play. In brief, the game is designed for use with up to 10 miniatures in each crew, a 2 foot by 2 foot table for a 2 player game, reaching 4 foot by 4 foot for more players, 1 unique and 4 other treasure tokens, a tape measure in inches, suitable terrain and at least 2 20 sided dice. The central character in your adventuring crew is a hereditor, the descendant of those who visited the ghost archipelago the last time it appeared, about 200 years ago. These ancestors of your lead character once drank from the crystal pool, granting them superhuman powers. Your hereditor has a remnants of these mighty powers, but seeks the crystal pool for themselves. The first stage for players is to create their own character, choosing one main focus and up to four subsidiary hereditor abilities that they can use if they roll the right target number on a d20. However, these abilities come with a price for overuse, something called blood burn a debilitating consequence of having used an ability, potentially weakening the character during the game. The Hereditor may carry up to five items, including magical ones. The next character to create is a Warden, the guide and protector of a crew in the Ghost Archipelago. These characters draw upon chosen aspects of nature to enable them to cast spells to protect themselves and others. Players choose a single Warden for their crew, apparently they don't mix well together, and decide on their branch, which dictates which spells can be used. You can choose from Earth, Storm, Vine and Wave, which grant you access to the elemental magic associated with each branch. Wardens start out knowing four spells, three of which must be from their own branch and one which may be from another. A Warden may carry up to three items, including any magical ones. Once the star characters are sorted out, you flesh out your crew with up to 8 crewmen volunteers, signing up for adventure and wealth, who may in turn be equipped with various weapons. Up to 4 may be classed as specialists, who must be hired using some of the starting gold for a heritor. Both crewmen and specialists may be given magical items. There are a variety of specialists, including a useful mundane crossbowman and archer, up to the more esoteric pearl diver and herbalist. The game turn is split into a number of phases, with an initiative roll, with the highest to lowest roll acting in resort order. The first player's hereditor acts, followed by the second player's hereditor, and any subsequent players. The process is repeated with the warden and then the crewmen. Each figure can carry out two actions, but one must be movement. Group activation is also possible, with the hereditor and up to three crewmen being able to complete their actions in the same turn. Stats are rolled against in order to accomplish certain tasks. These are modified as dictated, adding stat values to the basic roll to score more than a target number. Combat is divided into hand-to-hand -hand and shooting, plus using hereditor abilities and casting spells. These are subject to positive and negative modifiers, can be poisoned and can cause critical hits the higher the die roll. In addition, hereditor abilities come with a price, the blood burn, where hereditor characters automatically receive a number of points of damage whether they are successful or not, although they suffer more damage if they fail. Consequently, the health of a hereditor suffers the more often they use their abilities. Of course, crews are encouraged to gather treasure during the adventures, are subject to attacks by creatures and can find themselves using small boats or launchers, which can be the scenes of skirmishes. Games ordinarily end with one side having more treasure tokens than the other, however rules are provided for carrying your crew into a campaign, with each character, piece of treasure, injury and part of the adventure having an effect on individuals and the party alike. Experiences gained, new skills acquired, and treasure assessed for its worth in gold and use in the next adventure. There are a number of potions, spells, armour, weapons and magic items that can be brought with your treasure, although the precious map stones, showing a little part of the way to the crystal pool, must be jealously guarded by the hereditor who has them. 
You can also recruit new crew members or enhance your base, the ship that enables you to travel from place to place. The details of each hereditary ability and warden spells are included, plus a way to randomly generate the same for a more unpredictable, challenging character to play. The game provides eight scenarios which may be randomly generated or worked through one by one for campaign play. Each scenario is clearly laid out, but adds to the mythos of the ghost archipelago and its many dangers. Some of these dangers are outlined in the bestiary section, and range from creatures to local tribesmen, the undead, dinosaurs and more. This is both a worthy successor to the original game and a whole new realm of adventure. The author has taken the original rule system and created a diverse, distinctly different focus. The use of new character types, different hooks and new foes really makes this an original game which draws you into a different world. If you liked Frostgrave, you'll recognise most of the rules elements, but with a whole new level of twists. And if the idea of the Frozen City never appealed, or you're coming to this game with new eyes, then the more freeform nature of adventures across a realm of mysterious islands with a distinctly Sinbad-esque or Ray Harryhausen twist could be just what you're looking for.